Hello guys. Uh, in today's uh, video, we'll be dealing with Sage Pastel accounting software. So Sage Pastel accounting is a is an accounting computerized software, so that where you can apply your manual knowledge. So if you open Sage Pastel for the first time, it looks something like this. So today we'll be dealing with how to open a new company on Sage Pastel. So before we can do that, let's just familiarize ourselves with uh, Sage Pastel. On Sage Pastel, uh, we have different methods of navigation. We have four methods actually of navigation. We have at the top there, the menu bar, then following the menu bar is the toolbar. These icons, as you can see them here, we call that the toolbar. So you can see that the toolbar is, we can open anything here. It's because we have not yet opened a new company. So if we had opened a new, a new company, we'll be able to use the toolbar. So different methods of navigation is the menu bar, the toolbar, and then the system navigation. So you will see system navigation after we've created a company. So let's now go to, let's now create a new company. To create a new company, you have to click on file. Then on open, it's when you want to open an existing company. So our objective today is to open a new company. So we'll go to new. Then on your computer, uh, Sage Pastel has its own folder under local disk C. So it's advisable for you not to change the, the driver because if you can locate uh, your, your Sage Pastel accounting, you can go to your C drive, then locate the company that you have created uh, under that drive. So today we'll use what? We have four methods of creating a new company, but I want us to utilize uh, the setup assistant. So setup assistant, on setup assistant, you already have some accounts created for you. So what you have to do is just to edit. So when you open a new company, you have to come up with the name of that company Let's say, for example, our company is Electronics PTY Ltd. So, on this box here, name box, they only allow you to type seven uh, letters. So, for us to type the electronic, it won't allow us to type electronic there. So, we'll just use elec. Then, after typing elect, we'll type uh, 2013. Um, Let's say, for example, we are using, uh, it allows you to type eight letters. Sorry, guys. So, this 2013, it represents the year, the financial year that you are creating the company. So that if you want to locate the company, you will be able to locate, to, to see it easily. So, let's hit on create. So setup assistant, it will take you, as you can see here, they are, they are saying that there are maximum of 12 screens in this assistant, including this screen. So after the 12 screen is where you'll be sure that your company is ready to, to be edited. So let's pass this page. So on the company name, you can now type the full name of your company unlike on on that first page you saw that they only allowed us to type eight uh, letters electronic pty ltd then on the postal address uh 
you will put your uh, postal address but since we are using setup assistant uh, it won't allow us to put the postal address because we are already uh, pastel setup assistant it, it it is guiding us on how to create these things so if you put postal address it will automatically use the pastel uh, address so it is advisable not to put a postal address or any information there but what you have to know is that this fifth line here is reserved for that you just have to know that so you click on next then on the date format you select how you want your date to be uh, uh, shown as you can see here so our year on the year format you can see that our year is presented as, as just one because we are using two digits so let's click on four digits this is how our year will be looking like four digits 2001 then it is easier when you use uh, the four digits one because it's what we are used to so on the date sequence the day the month the year let's leave it like that then on the date separator you can use the dash or these so it will it will it will be up to you you can see that if i utilize dash there my date is separated with a dash so let's use the dash click on next on the period setup you have to put the beginning of the financial year for that company if you are working on a company uh let's say for example its financial year is 1 january 2018 to 31 december 2018 so here you have to put the starting period because if you put the, the financial year end it will affect uh, your records there so we use uh, 01 dash 01 2018 so our starts on january 2018 so here you have to indicate which period you will be using uh, on the last day of the month on the same day so we want to use a 30 day based thing so we'll use on the last day of the month so we'll click next so the next period the, the next page is about period setup continue period uh period setup yes so on the number of periods you'll be able to you can specify up to 13 periods as they are telling you here uh 13 periods it means that if your financial year starts on 1 january 2018 so it means it will end on 1 january 2019 so you will be you will tick on this box use the last period as first period for the next financial year so the 1 january the financial year will be used for the starting of the new financial period but if you are using 12 period you don't have to click on use last period as first period because if you are using 12 periods let's imagine now or let's take for example you are uh, preparing accounting records for a company that uses 1 january 2018 financial year to 30, 31 december 2018 so you'll use december as your beginning of financial period then it will mess up everything actually so you if you're using 12 period you just not tick there then click on next then on chart of accounts chart of accounts is the type of the company that you will be using as you can see here you just click on the arrow then they will give you the type of the company or the type of the business that you'll be using let's assume that our company is 
a buy a, a, a trading company so we'll select on retail then if you can just look at these things let's take hotel for example so it gives you what hotels deals with so the rooms the services the telephone and transport so these are the contents of a hotel uh, company so let's take for example farming again you can use you can see that it gives you all those things uh, you can find in farming like for example cattle sheep food so if you select farming and your company is a trading company so you will be in co inconvenience when preparing your general ledger accounts uh, creditors and w uh, and whatnot so it is advisable to select a relevant type of company or type of business so let's select retail here then click on next and so here are the cash books or the bank accounts that your business will be using let's for say for example our company uh, uses to have two bank accounts for FMB and ABSA so you will indicate here that our company uses two cash books then you'll put those two cash books here so let's assume that our company only uses one company uh, one cash book FNB FNB current click on next then on the price list here at the, the the how your company will be selling its products if you'll be selling your goods on credit there will be credit prices and a cash prices so I guess you, you all know what the price list is and on most common let's assume our company uses sales on credit uh, credit and cash so we'll have prices if a, a person wants to buy on cash and we'll have prices if a, a person wants to buy on credit so on most common it is about uh, how your comp your customers like transacting with you if they like buying on cash most of them are buying on cash so the most common will be on cash so you click on next then the default terms here is about uh, how the, the period that your, your company will be using uh, it can be a day based on daily basis or a, a, a pure a month a month to month thing so if it's a month based you select off month based if it's a day based you select on day based then normally for us uh, we'll have 30, month, 30 days per month so you go next then on open item and balance forward it's our uh, how you'll be paying your, your 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 creditors or the payments here yeah, the, the the payments how you your, your, you'll be preparing your financial statements you'll open them you'll prepare them on opening balances or balance carried forward balances so I guess that we are all familiar with balance forward they are like our balance carried down and our balance brought forward so let's click on balance forward then a paper style let's leave that for now click on next then we, we can now we can see that we are done with creating our company we can now process our company so we just have to wait while the, it's processing there
when when it, when the operation is complete you now click on finish then you will be required to set a password and confirm that password and then you will be required to set your username the email address security question and security answer security question and security answer it it prevents other people from duplicating your, your company or entering into your company without uh, your permission so our password let's just use one two three four five six for now one two three four five six username let's just leave, leave it on uh let's just type let's just type your name there then security question uh you can ask your, yourself a question then answer it uh let's say for example your name then you respond with your name then you click on ok then we are told that no email address has been uh, put there do you want to put a email address uh, I will click on no because I don't want to put a, an email address but if you want to put an email address you will click on yes then put your email address there So now you are done creating a company. Uh, you can see that the icons on the toolbar are now activated. You can now use them. Then here's the system navigator that I, I was telling you about. You can use system navigator here. Uh, for You can use system navigator for explorer if your explorer is uh, if you have created the company then the company is does not show this page then you have, you'll have to go to system navigator then click on explore then it will give you uh, these things right there so you'll be having suppliers inventory general ledger accounts which you can edit or modify on the toolbar or the menu bar if you want to modify them uh, directly from the menu bar you will use setup function for the customers or the edit and if you are not familiar with that one you can use now the toolbar as you can see here uh, as you can see here we, we have edit customers and we have again edit customers there edit customers so if you don't want to use this one edit customers you can come to the toolbar and edit them there you can edit them directly from that so let's reserve editing customers for another video right for for now so i hope this video was helpful on creating a new company so please hit a like and then subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos thank you very much